Welcome to Are You Bros, the podcast that gives you multiple perspectives on today's hottest topics. Hosted by Nico Pingin, Fred in Progress, and Jess Freeman. If you're looking for some inspiration from and for normal people, or simply want to know the bros a little more, you better open up your mind to the fresh perspective that's coming your way right now. And now, welcome to the Argue Bros podcast, the podcast where Nico Penguin, Jess Freeman, and Fred in Progress just have a normal discussions amongst ourselves. Sometimes we argue in a very ignorant manners because we're all like, Pretty much hard headed. Other times we just, you know, talk about current events. Uh, you mentioned something, Fred, about uh, Floyd doing what? Bro, I stand with Floyd Mayweather. I stand ten toes down for that man, bro. Apparently, <laughs> bro. He I, I honestly don't know what he did. He refused he did? a photo, guys. A photo, but it's the but it, and it's outrage about it. But it's the reasoning why he refused it from this boy. So this boy approaching Floyd, he was like, yo, Floyd dribbling that ball in that basketball court. That man never lost a boxing match. Never lost. Let me go ask for a picture. But he he didn't know. He know he woke up with the wrong things on his nails. You know what was on his nails? Nail polish. <laughs> his nails was painted or he had yeah, nail polish? his nails were painted black. They were painted black. They were painted black. Yeah, the white boy nail paint was black. Floyd was like, nah, I don't take, I don't take pictures. I don't take pictures with, with, <laughs> with men gay with, with painted nails. Like, yeah, apparently just went to the security, the security just and just that went viral. And walked off. It, yeah, yeah people, people, uh, news outlet reported that oh, that Floyd Mayweather refuses photo nah, with fan bro. due to painted nails. I, Even got a picture of the boy with nails, Sam. They do this shit on purpose. They go to the people specifically with strong ideologies. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'm gonna question him about this shit. I'm gonna see if he says the right public thing. Hey, Floyd, do you want to take a picture with me? Can I wrap my hands around you? No? Okay. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm surprised Floyd didn't give him a two-piece. <laughs> like, oh, my God. I'm surprised he did that. That's the one thing Floyd's smart about. He knows that if he throws a punch, that shit better cost a mil. No, that's Cal's and his career. Yeah, he money. He money made with his security. He'll let his security handle it. He'll let his security, He'll let it. He'll let his security handle it. He'll walk in between this giant security man. Yeah, quote unquote, his security gave him a two piece, but we know it was Floyd. <laughs> 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 like, I'm pretty sure some of these boxers just be having security just for like uh, insurance purposes. If anything happens, boss, you say it was me. It's like, why do you think I'm punching? Uh, uh, um, why do you think I'm paying you for? I'm paying for you to take the fall. And then they get covered because the security guys, I'm pretty sure they're all set. In this day and age, that would never work unless you have an EMP. Somebody recording it. So, so, there's too many cameras. Some somewhere is some unless you're in a room that's black box. There's somebody recording. Uh, so I'm taking a picture somewhere that you're gonna be nah, caught. That's true. That is I, true. I agree. It's too, the day and age. There's more true. eyes on you than ever before, and lenses. And lenses. Man, I be seeing bugs fly around me sometimes. So like, man, who knows if that's really a robot just spying on me? And then because who knows what the real technology feels like? Who knows what the technology be like? I'm like, yo, that Man. that's a gyro that that goes in a weird circular pattern. I don't know about that. And what what bug is that? <laughs> Bro, I told my grandma and my mom, I was like, yo, what do you think about pigeons having batteries? They're like, who would do that? Why would somebody do that? That's kind of stupid. Who's gonna take the time out their day? And I was like, what if the government? Is doing that now to us. She was like, I mean, not even the government. It could just be your next door neighbor because it's all on Amazon. On oh, oh my god, at this point, yeah, at this point now, what is what is your what is your <laughs> neighbor just want to spy on you? Just cause what, what is it like close ra- close range spying? Like just you spy on your neighborhood. What's stopping like, yo, them? You gotta buy some some robots and plug some put some mics in, put some GPS on the cars, and you can easily track the location just for fun or for for uh, fun. <laughs> for fun, nigga, that's high end. Like that's crazy. You could literally just on Amazon buy a set list of products just to spy on everyone, and it, you just ain't nothing they can do about it. What, 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 what they gonna nothing. do about it? I mean, unless somebody creates some sort. Unless like well, if they I, find I out and they know it's you, they can I mean, they you, catch obviously. you. Yes, I mean, of course they catch you. I mean, like yo, you can just put a GPS tile underneath their car. You can put you can put microphones in their house, quote unquote. Yes, guys, he has never it's done crazy. this. All right. <laughs> No, I'm just talking about the. I'm just talking about how interesting it is that it's <laughs> no, so just, easily purchasable on Amazon, easily done. And then Danny, it's crazy. Just like the Airbnb things. Um, 
people people putting putting pictures. I mean, not pictures. Yeah, yeah, putting pictures, mere fake mirrors up, having all these cameras in different places just so they can oh, report everybody who goes stay there. Like I'm, I'm like, you got to bring a whole, you got to bring a whole camera sweeper, tech tech sweeper just to scan the house, make sure there's no cameras in the sockets, no cameras in the fans. <laughs> and that's if your technology. Where, yeah, if not, you're just going and changing. Then you have no idea. And it's like, well, these are amazing, loving folks. They got my best interests at heart. Man, man, down, man in the other house next door, just looking at the camera like, oh my God, we got, we got, we got Asian staying this weekend. Oh, just sitting at the camera. Oh, right. lock the door. Here's some, here's some. I feel like the- every, every race is saying that about people, unless it's like, Oh my gosh, he might he uh, he looks he looks a little bit ethnic. I'm gonna approach him. He's a little light skinned I'm gonna see if he if if he talks to me rough. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas come with a DMX voice. What you want from me, bitch? Oh my god, hey, Leroy, Leroy. <laughs> you know white bitches they fall in love with a nigga like that. Leroy, take me. John in the back, like, honey, I thought you was gonna make me love at seven. You violent. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, but also I was looking at the fact that NBA actually they did a partnership collaboration thing, and they're actually starting to sell digital collectibles in the form of NFTs. That's crazy. It's essentially like they actually, and we're not sponsored by them. I just think it's really cool of collectibles because they're essentially selling out their highlights. The same highlights that be on like NBA top 10, the NBA partnered with the MBPA, which is the uh, National Basketball Association's Players Association. It's a mouthful. But they essentially partnered up with them in order to get the, another way for players to A, get checks and B, get a way more fans involved. Like I was telling Fred earlier, it's kind of hard to justify like an $80 jersey purchase, but almost everybody could justify a $4 digital collectible. And that's supporting your player, your favorite player, or even if it's not your favorite player, if you're just doing it as an investor, it's helping you pretty much get your feet wet with investing because that same card that you paid four dollars next week, somebody might be willing to pay two, three, four thousand dollars for or just, you know, keeping it realistic, 20 to 40 bucks. And it's crazy because if you do that scaled out like 100 200 300 times i'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of people that are going to start pretty much a day trading or day flipping nfts like the nba top shot like think about it if let's say for example somebody drops 50 or whatever like Giannis antetokounmpo i'm pretty sure that dunk that he sealed 54 or whatever like those kind of moments are the legendary million dollar ones where if you open up a pack you got a chance to actually win there's a lot of holes in there there's a lot of holes in there sir um like logistics the logistics of how many cards who controls the rarity of it like who controls the rarity of release of how many cards like do they just sell unlimited amounts of each card or do they and mm-hmm. it's like it's like a uh, wait wait they sell an unlimited amount a limited a limited amount. Do they limit it per like card, or is it certain cards more limited mm-hmm. than others? Player, yeah. Nope, everything has a limit. So there could be cards that have a million. Yeah, it's like a loot box where you like open up a pack. It's just like, have you ever had like Yu Gi Oh or Pokemon cards? Where like you Never buy like them, a I've seen them. I've seen them. I've seen. Yeah, them. you buy you buy the pack and you don't know what's in it. You open it up and it's like a point zero one percent chance to get like a legendary. It's literally like oh, so and then, it's like the new age like yeah. golf cards and um paraphernalia and such. You have electronic versions of it now, except with the except with more possibility of 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 financial recoupment in mm-hmm. in um gaining money just because how hot NFT is. No one knows if it's gonna blow up or not. So just that alone, people want to trade is what you're saying. And then it's NBA players who have millions of fans already across the world with a finite amount of cards. So it's a lot of luck involved though to 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 open up the card unless you're like trading financially starting a lot well of hope trade going up. into it. But yes, it's you're you're wishing on hopes, praying on dreams and essentially because like you spectrum. also when you, yes, but you also when you sell, you have to sell at a specific number. You can't do it like other places where in other places you can like do an auction style and you can like uh, start it at $10 and wait overnight and then it'll climb up. Nah, you got to put your price as to how much you're selling. 
So if there's a card that has only 10,000 cards, everybody might have a different estimate as to how much it's actually worth. Because remember, uh, it's just like minting. You create that moment, that video, that GIF, whatever of the player. And after it reaches a certain number, like let's say on Dwayne Wade's case, the most recent pack that's opening, Again, we're not sponsored by none of this. It's just, I think it's cool. There's 500,000 packs being sold at $9 a piece. After the 500,000th pack or whatever gets sold, there is no more Dwayne Wade NFT collectibles ever. So if a million people want to buy it, it's only 500,000. And right now they're already at 289,646 left and there's only like four days left and so are these packs you then have to open and then hope that you get like the more rare versions of the cards that they curated correct you 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 hope they control they control a lot of the market yes they control a lot there's not a lot no there's not a lot of maneuvers to work in but i mean i guess i mean so 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 there's two ways you could play is basically trade up with actual money coming into it, or you buy packs and, and play the game to hopefully win shit. Mm-hmm. Mm, possible room for growth without as many chains on them, on with them controlling so much of it. Yeah, it's like uh, almost like the baseball cards, um, except now that it's going digital, we all know the NBA is a frontier. Like everybody looks at the NBA for like some guidance. And I think that's super hilarious because a lot of people normally wouldn't think that a sports league is leading and being innovative in so many different ways. Like who would have thought, oh snap, LeBron and crypto is in the same sentence. It's more, it's more because of the marketing and and how they make their money that they have to keep pushing forward. And same with like, with like COVID things that went on going on right now, a lot of like the health things, just like with UFC, they have to, um, they can't, they have money to make. If they, if they can't make their money, they have to innovate way more than the government or anywhere else. I think it's pretty cool because now, now not only can you be a fan that is an investor, but you can appreciate more. So especially the the higher tier cards are rarer. So like a common card, you it might be a quarter of a million, half a million, or a million or two million or something like that. And then like each level that you go up, it is a lesser amount. So like a rarer card or whatever, let's say a rare LeBron, let's say it's only a hundred thousand. And then like an epic LeBron, it's like 10,000. And then like a legendary is only five cards in the world. And if you have one of those and you just so happen to pull it out of APAC, that's so cool. Also, they have like some place on, on their website that actually shows how, um, how many cards are still yet to open and stuff like that. As well as if you go to a specific card. How do you like it so far? Don't forget to reach out via social media and suggest the next hot topics to argue about. You can see if there's still some like sitting in a pack. It's like, oh, snap, if I buy, a, you know, extra packs, I might be able to. Uh... Somebody going to spend so much money. Oh, you know, they have. You know, they have. That's, they they set that up for addictions. Oh, my God. I get to know how many. Oh, I got to keep on buying. I got to keep on buying. It could be me. It could there's be. a chance. There's a chance. There's a chance. Yo, that's so me. <laughs> there could be a chance. Next, Who's next, one? next, next, one? next. Yeah. Does it tell you a percentage of like no. what's your percentage nah. chance of opening it or anything like that? <laughs> nope. Oh, no. So no, it's just no. like a blindfolded pick a show. Yeah, bro. Like, like, yeah, it literally, it literally is like I go to a gas station and give me an oh. NFT scratch card and be like, yo. Yes. Yes. Code, it's, it's, it's like a, a USB or something. I go plug into my computer. But online. Like I just go to the website. Yo, and with my, my morning coffee, I'll like me an NFT scratch off, please. Let me see what I get. <laughs> I'm going to the gas station in the morning or some shit. You feel me? Imagine if that's what these white people are all doing. Mm, because a lot of the times I didn't realize it. Like, nigga, no, they're not doing that. I started researching. No, I started researching like retirement and stuff like that. A lot of older generations, they actually invest in art as like an actual investment. I had no idea. I was like, why would you buy that? Like, it doesn't make sense. And you're talking more on the certified contractual art with like certification documents. Yeah, yeah. Like they actually buy those like in the in the uh, auction houses and stuff like that. And they use them as deductions and stuff like that for taxes that, that they paid for one and that it carries depreciates and value and stuff like that. And then if they ever do need the money, they can just sell it. It's a crazy concept. Like, wait, art is that valuable? 
that you can actually use it as a potential like retirement plan. Like, yeah, if I need money, I could just sell this piece of art. It's like, and now that's exactly what the digital NFTs are. And or at least that's what a lot of people are hoping for. They're hoping that it has that same level of respect, especially like these uh, open seas, like bored monkeys and weird uh, monkeys and apes and crypto kittens and all these other ones that I can't remember off the top of my head, but the ones that sell for like multi millions of dollars, a lot of people are just buying them just because, oh, if it's millions of dollars now, imagine when I retire in 40 years, it's going to be a lot of money. Like, oof, that's a, that's a, that's a steep investment. I mean, but I'm sure they might have it, but I hope, <laughs> I hope that that's throwaway money. I mean, they got nothing better to do. Somebody got to take the risk. I hope a flying chariot come over here, too. Yeah, I'm going to keep on waiting. I'm going to keep on waiting. I'm going I'm to wait for a little bit and wait till crypto, you know, uh, wait till wait till NFT become Bitcoin. Be like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, I could have got known. it. I'm going to start investing within the next two to three weeks. Because who really knows, though? There's so many. There's two camps that, to, to, to it. There's the ones that are going to fail and the ones that are going to succeed, So. We'll see which one happens. And, and the funniest thing is, it's crazy how everyone's a fanatic now. Everyone's a fanatic. There's no, yes. there's no middle ground. It's like, yo, you either believe in crypto and NFT, or you're a non-believer and you, and you believe in the one world government and one, one currency. Yeah. Like, what? Right? So like, true. Like, and the, 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 the both sides. Both sides are crazy. Like, the moment the news the news is like, oh, crypto's mainstream now. It's like, wait, what? I know now. Now, now, it's advertisements. Now, now, every everything is part of crypto. Everyone has crypto apps. Now, everyone has yeah. So it's like it's like two sides of everything. So who knows which uh, which it, it depends on who you're talking to and what the outcome. Of and you know, what? I keep thinking like, yo, there's no difference between monopoly money and Bitcoin. Like that in my head, like I know everybody who does crypto for real is like gonna kill me, but. In my head, I still think about it. It's just fake money. We're putting just a value on it. Yes, it does stuff. But at the end of the day, it's still just fake. It's not real. It doesn't exist. It's just like the metaverses. They don't exist. They're all figments of our imagination. It's like valuing a piece of paper and saying this one is worth 100 because there's 100 on it. And this one is worth 50 because there's 50 on it. It's like, is it really worth that much? Or is it we just putting a finite amount of value on it? Because in reality, it's not really worth that much. Not any of these NFTs, because a lot of the NFTs, people just copying and pasting it, uh, you know, and there's a lot of people just making fun of it. Like, hey, the same thing you pay millions of for, I have access to it. But it's like you mentioned, Fred, it's that certification part that they don't have because they can try to sell it. But when they're asked for it in the blockchain, like, please provide the blockchain password to the JPEG that was created five, six years ago. They don't have that. And so they can't sell it as that original. So even though they can use the, they can use the picture for kudos points and stuff like that, you can't actually do anything with it. You know, I, I mean, you could, if you're a really good scammer, you could go to like third or fourth party websites and stuff and try to create a new one. But most of the people that are going to be buying are going to be on the mainstream websites like OpenSea, and you won't be able to do it on there. But for obviously, you know, people that don't know, like the mainstream ones, they could easily get scammed. But I think it's still pretty cool. The, the fact that now the metaverses are actually becoming something that's super mainstream. Like when Mark Zuckerberg mentioned that he wanted to create that, I thought he was just trying to create it. The whole movement, I didn't realize that there was a huge movement behind it already. Or again, that the NBA was actually adopting that. Like what? I'm still like, yo, the NBA, I know they're very progressive and they're very forward minded, but I didn't even think that the NBA, like the NBA and the M and NBA PA, I, I didn't think that they would even agree to something like that. Like what? But now it's a win win situation for everybody. So everybody Honestly, I don't even know what that association truly does. The NBPA? Yes. They negotiate the contracts for the players. So like, uh, the million dollar extensions that everybody's having, they're all already set in stone. So the players just decide with the owners which contract they're gonna go for. So they can say, like, like uh have you it's heard like of the, the union? Vet? It's the union, but for NBA. Yeah. It's like, have you heard of the vet minimum in the NBA? Yeah. Yeah. So the vet minimum is the lowest amount that a veteran can have because the union fought and negotiated that every person that's been in the league at least a year cannot 
get paid less than a certain amount. It just doesn't make sense. Like, for example, like Rondo, Dwight Howard, Carmelo, that they're all on like vet minimums and stuff like that. It doesn't make sense that these guys have been in the league for like 10 plus years. And then they get, then they get offered like a $200,000 offer just to meet yeah. salary cap and stuff like that. So the MBPA, they decided to pretty much say like, you know, you got to pay them a, a set amount, like a million, two million, something like that uh, is the met minimum. And every year it grows a little bit more. So certain teams that they want to have like superstar power, like, LA, but they can't afford it because of the salary cap. They can wiggle their way around it by having veterans take a pay cut, especially veterans that either A, are either washed up, B, are ring chasing, or C, they can't find work anywhere else. That's usually the three categories of somebody that's going to take a a vet minimum. And those three, you can immediately see like 90% of people that take vet minimums qualify in those three or one of those three categories it's essentially because think about it if you were getting offers of more than a minimum would you not be taking that as a vet are you getting offered 10 million here and then a vet minimum here it's like why would i want the vet minimum but if you're all your you know you're getting vet minimums everywhere then you choose which one you want to go to <laughs> man it's hard being in the nba regardless so if you get a chance to get there do you think i mean there's people that make good money playing overseas like think about like yeah, the YMCA have made good money not playing at all just standing sitting day ass on the bench adam morrison shout out to you my guy i'm i was a hardcore lakers fan i was like yeah who is adam morrison and why is he getting paid like four hundred fifty thousand dollars a year to sit on the bench i said like, well it's because he's number like four hundred and four in the nba and skill you need level, to have a second still... job you think so yeah, he needs a second job so he can just not touch that money and, and save that and invest it all. Then he retire. He could work at Costco for like seventeen dollars an hour. He got to get. A, he got to be a good team player and show up to all the practices. Although he's not getting into games, he nah, got to show oh up to the God, buses yo. early every day. Early. <laughs> nah, if, imagine if he ubers, if he ubers or Uber eats in, the, in all the areas he plays at. That way he's bro. still in range, bro. He can make it make some stuff. Yo, hurry up, bro. I got I got a game in 15 minutes, man. It gets, it's 20 minutes. Away, <laughs> make it fast. Yo. Make it fast. Yo, I'm pretty sure y'all speaking. And his, and his teammates, sure. he can bring him back some food with him. They'll be like, yo, y'all went Chick-fil-A. I got y'all. I got y'all, fam. Order on hey, door that. Who wants a half eaten burrito? Come on, Tony. I know you like burritos. Y'all speaking, y'all speaking on behalf of a lot of players right now in the league. Or in the G League. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They got to do it now. We're speaking on them WNBA players, too. <laughs> so they do the G League and the WNBA and all players. On the G League. Yep, yeah, we're talking about them. They, yeah, they all get paid chump change. Wait, I never thought about that. I wonder what the what the comparison is. What's the comparison in salaries of the G League and, and the WNBA? Are they more similar, actually? The G League gets paid more. <laughs> That'll be crazy. I'm, I don't think so. What's the average? I swear to God, bro. I swear to God. I mean, before they did a renegotiation for the G League, I believe the WNBA was doing more, but because a no, lot of the players, it's thirty five k, so it's less. It's less for G League. It's thirty five k. Yeah, thirty five k for who? For a rookie? For regular ass nigga? For regular ass nigga? What? Are you sure? Check the date on that because they just did a Thanks, new please. contract. Let me see. Let me see. All June twenty fourth, twenty twenty one. You said January twenty fourth in twenty twenty one. Cause they just did a renegotiation. Like two two way players get paid good. Yeah. So two way players. This set of players start with the base select players at 125k, includes prorated portion. The minimum salary in the NBA, which well, okay, blah blah, not that. Select players usually worth two way players 125 average. Yeah, they say usually five months when the season's active. Assignment players, oh, draft players make the, the lowest amount of money. About seven thousand a month, thirty-five, thirty-five for for the five-month season, thirty-five thousand. Yep. So that's and then there's affiliate players make fifty thousand, but on average, with everyone included, is about thirty-five thousand. And uh, the women's depends league? on what type of player. I'm gonna, let me look right now. You know where they fucked up? They should have never named it WNBA. They should have named it. They should have named it Hoops of Women. Something, something different, bro. Because already just saying putting a W in front of NBA. That's kind of like that's kind of like just saying, "Hey guys, you know what? Uh, I don't have a good metaphor actually. Never mind. I left my head." No, nah, no, nah, that's right. What are, you, what are you talking about? WNBA is a good thing because just like um, just like the UFC has MMA, then the, they have their female MMA boxing weight. If we had a football league, we have the W, the women's. Even UFC has league. a has a bigger shadow to overcome than than the WNBA, bro. Boxing, 
the sport the the sport itself of boxing is way huger than martial arts. And I'm talking I'm not talking about history wise. I'm talking about like being watched on TV, like views. Mm-hmm. And like th- that's why I say WNBA is a bad name because the NBA is so hard to overshadow, bro. They thought by association, just changing one letter would still bring some um, spotlight to it. I mean, if it named something totally different, no one would even care to look it up because it have no correlation to the NBA. Yeah, so imagine if it didn't. If it didn't, it would be worse. No, oh, but if it got a spark, if it got a spark, it would have been just as popular as the NBA. Now, a spark from where and wait, how, bro? The problem is not nigga, the name. You, you not see these girls? They're hooping. What do you mean, bro? The problem is the name. What are you talking about? The problem is the name. They want to be NBAs. They want to be like Mike, not like a brand new, different AFL game like AFL XFL. These new generation. Yeah, you're gonna take, go and take a minute for the new generation girls to play because most people ain't watching a WNBA game. Regardless, if you name it to God's Coming Right Now game, you name what you want to name it. A million dollars, watch this show game. You like go watch it because they don't want to watch the WNBA. It's not the name title right now. It's not the the, it's the sport. Bro. Man, if you're a true fan of basketball, you love. You would like if you don't get that, if you a true fan shit out of here, bro. You I swear to God, dude, that's, you, you, people say if you a true fan bro, so often, bro. But skill, right now, skill, bro. <laughs> if you don't like that, you don't like Sacramento hey. Kings basketball. Hey, well, I got more important <laughs> things to do in my life than be a true fan of WNBA. Like what, bro? I got more important things to do than be bro, a true fan of WNBA. You like, recognize what? skill, bro. Like naming the top five <laughs> NBA players who are female right now. Do you know any? Yeah, if you a true fan, dog. Cheat, man, Tarasi. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, that's the uh, one I know. Hold up, hold up. Uh, uh, Candice Parker. Uh, that's the one I know too. <laughs> uh, shit, I know Kibir Buck. I don't know. I don't know first names. I know last names. That's it. That's it. That's all you know. I know Janae. Oh, oh, I know. Okay. I said last names, nigga. I, oh, Lexi Brown. Um, Skylar Diggins. Uh, um. Oh, um, some shit E Cambridge. I know her first name starts with an E. Lisa. Lisa. You dropped Lisa 50. who? Lisa who? She was Cambridge right there. She dropped fifty. Man, and then there's a whole bunch of other ladies that I only know their last names. Like, come on, man. Man, you forgot the most famous of them all, bro. I forgot her name, Sue Bird. Come on, talk to me. Oh, I wasn't even thinking of Sue, but yes, yo, Sue Bird Clutch. I was thinking of Brittany Griner. Oh, she. Oh, uh, wanted- yo, I, I forgot her name. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> in his Yo, prime, in Yo. his prime. Yo, that coach said, I, "That coach said, I, he said, I'm gonna go liquidate my house and bet the entire house on 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 Demarcus Cousins." <laughs> <laughs> Talk about when they ask him when they go bet. The, Mar- the only way that Marcus loses is if he like pulls a hamstring and nah, he's still winning leg. one leg. One leg. What? I'm gonna say one leg. He's still winning. What you talking about? Uh, if he loses, it's because she gonna pull out a fucking Glock and shoot the nigga to stop playing. <laughs> no, <laughs> chill out, chill out. <laughs> WNBA. Yo, the WNBA could have sponsored us because we was hyping it up. Now, now y'all messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Shout out to the WNB though. They they really do got skill. Like they need yeah. advertisement. They need some skill in their marketing. So I can know Yo, when the game is Help them out, bro. Help them of out. They need some help. They with don't that. have. They don't have as athleticism of a LeBron James or a fucking. Not yet, but these girls, yo, this is Zion, Zion Williamson, bro. I was watching some hoop videos. I couldn't tell that it was a female, bro. Don't lie to them. If you lie to them, they bro, will. Bro, for real, jumping them. from the jumping from the dotted line, bro. Ooh. Yeah, bro. It was. It was I like seen, a girl. I seen big girls like in the post, but dotted line. I think it was tough. like Nebraska or uh, Arkansas, some weird uh, state like that. She was like six eight, jumping from. Uh, the dotted line, tomahawking. I was like, "What the heck? That's a girl." I was like, "Why is she not going viral? Like, what? Why is she hidden?" It's just like the same thing with the WNBA. WNBA, what is wrong with y'all? Y'all need to be marketing the heck out of these females, bro. The only time I hear about the WNBA is when they're asking for money. I should be hearing like when their games are going on. Like, fam, that's the only time they're in the news. I'm like, yo, yo, that's facts, bro. That's facts. <laughs> Oh my no, God. that's facts. Cause they had a whole championship and they didn't promote the fuck out of it. Like, Yo, no, they, did they, y'all see the parade they, video? They did you see the championship parade thing? The, the, Not at the, all. There was a video. There was barely any people out there for the parade. 
they're like only about they're only about like a corner worth of people. The can't news news crews are trying to make it seem like it was like the 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 tens of people who showed up for the for the, for the parade. It was only a little corner. Oh my god! Yeah. No way! No, and yeah. the news for the tens of people. Oh my! For their, god. For, their uh, for their drive through, they're just riding on top of this cheap bus that just has a little little sign across. I'm like, fam, you could tell this. This is like this is like a college team one thing. <laughs> no, a college team one there. We more people still. I'm just like, yeah, I was just saying, a college team. Yeah. No show out. I'd be sad to be sitting on the bus and driving there with nobody there. That's the sad, news man. reporters that, are more fucked up though. For, I'm like, like where, where are all these supporters who are so vocal about the WNBA but can't even show up for their for their for their city win? I w- I'm assuming that they're across the whole country, not in a specific. <laughs> yeah, not in that city. Yeah, yeah. There's a few. There's a few. A few. A few people. Hey, if you like the WNBA, comment on W. Thousand people outside. Yeah, yeah. Comment on W. I agree. I agree. Oh, I got the average salary. The average salary for the WNBA is. <laughs> Hmm. Shit, he's nah, bro, shit. nah. It's six <laughs> figures. It's one hundred and twenty thousand. So Ooh, for an average? Yeah, for average. Their season is only like three seasons. Their season is only like three months long, though. Yep, it's a hundred. That doesn't make sense. In twenty nineteen, it was seventy four thousand, but now in twenty twenty one, the average uh, by Yahoo Finance is one hundred and twenty thousand. That doesn't Ooh, make sense. They stepping up. They stepping. How does nah, that make sense? Because why would they? Why would they play overseas to make ends meet? They don't. Maybe they don't do it to make. No, no. Maybe. That's the average. I'm not saying majority. Not majority. No, I'm saying the that. average. The average, like the average NBA player, Most of them play overseas. Yeah. The av- yeah. The average female play overseas. But like that doesn't make sense. I thought it was way lower. Way, 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 it's way so lower. I it was like G League level. Yeah, guy. I was thinking G League because G League level 35k. That's that's still good money. But G League, nigga, nah. Compared to what the NBA makes, they could dribble. They could dribble a little bit more cash. Would there. you be happy getting paid like twenty dollars an hour to uh, play basketball eight hours a day? <laughs> yeah, nigga. First of all, I don't even get paid twenty dollars an hour. So yes, nigga, of course. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's a day job. Like what? I remember this quote. There's only 144 WNBA players. 144 of them. Yep, the average salary wow. is 144,000. I wonder if it was uh, the minimum. The contract. minimum base salary with zero experience is 58,000. So yeah, they make they make good money just for a small little season. But no, they want to make more. They, they, in, in comparison to the NBA, they make nothing. They want to make. It must more. have been because they kept complaining over and over, and then the the union decided. Because I remember like two or three years ago, I saw a documentary talking about the struggles of all the WNBA players, and that only like the top ten or twenty percent actually made above like seventy k or like above six figures. And I was no, like, it's still the same. It's only about four people make. It's only about six people make um hundred thousand thousand. I mean, two hundred some thousand, and so what I'm saying, like, they make they make enough. That's why that's why a lot of comments on the people who saying the WNBA make, need to make, be paid more. They're like, one, you lose money, and two, you get paid more than people work real jobs. If you get paid more, you could draft more, you can extend your season, you can actually be compared to the W to the NBA. Let's get right, WNBA. Come on now, change that fucking name first of all. Second of all, bro, what is changing their name going to do? What are you talking about? They're going to lose. People. Women of hoops. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ew, that is trash. Bouncing boobs. All right. All right. Are they, I mean, are they going to change their wardrobe uh, to match that you. title? Oh, Wait, hold on. I got, hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got, I got a real serious question. <laughs> a real serious what, question. What? What? Do you guys think that they should lower the hoops? No. I think they should from young so that they can be trained up because because it's going to be difficult because What's now they're trained to play bro? on their from like from from girls play on different hoops when they from young from like when they're a child. That's it. As a thing though, you gotta change but it's every difficult. single it's difficult court. because they've been trained. They've been trained their child, and so you have to change it it's, across the world. Bro, it's not even difficult. difficult to do. When you not, go to a basketball difficult to make a court, standard. you can't label it boy court or girl court. That's what I'm saying. Get a fucking hoop and you. No, they already do it now. They already do it now. There's a female court and a male court. In the colleges, they have a female. Every college. Maybe it must be D1 because, God damn it, I've never seen it. Every single, every single. Like, dude, you look at the court and on the bottom, they have two different. Yeah, like the floor, floor, floor outlines. Yeah, the floor outlines are different. I'm saying they would have to change the hoop as well. Which wouldn't think, be too, no, but they lower. I think in two going, generations but. they could do it, but now yeah, it can't be a major change because it'll be it'll be unfair. They've been training their entire game for that hoop size and everything. It'd be like changing their entire game. 
Even the little five year old girls are now but shooting like, on I'm just feet. like, yo, you 144, 12 times 12 bitches, y'all want to make money or no, nah, my nigga? Because it's like, if you lower this, it's like they're saying, oh, this is slapped to our face because we work. What about hard. trans men, though? Trans trans women. Hey, they already got they already got they already got trans women in in, in the UFC beating women up. So Not in the them NBA dunking though. on women. No, I'm saying Michael Jordan dunk, dunking on women. In That's the what I'm WWE. saying. Fuck them. Fuck hey, them. Bro, we get, Excuse oh, my no, French, but Justin, Justin, we could have the first Michael Jordan three time back to back champion. Feet. Yeah, I was thinking that, but I didn't want to say it. <laughs> wait, 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 yo, wait, yo, yo. Oh, fuck, Magic fuck Johnson's son is gay. Be Kareem, nigga. Magic be the Johnson's son could be could become trans and and still be um bald. Bro, that nigga look just like Magic too. Bro, bro, that's this bro. He could go, he could be passing balls. What balls? Chill, bro, bro. What? That's crazy. <laughs> He could be going crazy. Balls with balls. On the WBA, dog. He be throwing I don't even know if this part going to get cleared because passing balls with balls, that's wild. Bro, he could be shooting three <laughs> with threes, bro. <laughs> he could be shooting three with a set of three on him. Bro, he could be letting loose. You feel me? Bro, when we when gonna happen, dog? I mean, they already got in waitlisting too. When the, when's it gonna happen? Like, what? Oh, what about the world? What about um um world world cup and stuff? Like the Olympics. You know how they had the female um I mean the trans. Trans woman, I don't body, um, body lifter, weight lifter. What, what about the trans woman NBA players and stuff that are going to come in now for the W for the for the other countries for the other countries? Like, what about their what about their basketball players? Because they already had um trans weightlifters. When is it going to be a trans ball player for the female side? Ooh, and a hey, what if there's a person just like D Wade's son that transitions early, very early, and just like Fred said, wants to join the NBA? Ooh. Bro. Bro, what man? Gonna be the first Michael Jordan in the, Wait, hold in on, the hold WNBA. On. Oh <laughs> my god, bro! Wait you just minute. fucked my mind. I, up, it. Bro. I don't want to live in that world. Hey, Daddy. that's how trans can get support, though. Like, man, if you have the next Michael Jordan before the WNBA, it solves so many issues. One brings the WNBA but, up. Nah, and- you know, the, you know that that reminds me of that Australian uh, net league or whatever that they allowed men to join in. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> decimated. Oh, it's gonna be God. like that real quick. They're gonna be like, wait, hold on. Fred in progress said the average salary is a hundred thousand for average. <laughs> oh my God, for yeah, average. <laughs> Not top ten percent. The cost average? Into getting trans- I can start at fifty eight thousand, so I just got to change my gender and then play ball. Oh my God! There's so many ball players that were willing to do that. Oh my God! There is. No, no, but I'm saying, if you're a trans man, imagine in the locker room, man, stop being a bitch. He's on the inside, like I am a bitch. What do you want me to do? It's my time. <laughs> oh my God! That is, we Coach, just cracked the code. Please, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're just talking about the bottoms. You're gonna have a top step up to you, funny. Be like, yo, I appreciate all that shit. It's like, are you a female? It's like, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's a thing. You got to use your plurals, okay? Yeah, you got to teach us, right? You get along with them. <laughs> I get along with everybody, as long as they smoke weed. They then them. Um, hey, there is no them to me. It's my people and aliens. That's it. <laughs> if you know my people, you are alien. You could have said my people and citizens. It would have been hey, softer. Uh, these niggas ain't citizens to me. <laughs> oh lord! <laughs> My nigga, he said, "I'm I'm doubling down on this man. I'm doubling down." We're walking down the street like this, man. Make sure they don't no. cross. Make sure they don't cross the street. Oh, no, you never know, bro. It could be a nowadays, bro. It could be a psycho person. One bad, yo. My girlfriend just cheated on me. I call her sucking dick. See any random person that looked like the nigga that cheated on her with and blow your head top off. Uh, yeah, let's talk about that. Would you be mad if your girl cheated on you with another girl? I seen a video like that, and and a girl was like, she had she had a threesome with two girls, and then went home to her nigga afterwards. I think I, I would mean, be mad at the fact that she didn't invite. If you, me. It was one other girl. I knew you gonna say that. Girl, <laughs> I knew you gonna say I wanted to invite it. Because <laughs> uh, if you love me. And you having oh all this God. affection, <laughs> you know, affection mm-hmm. with me. That's kind of selfish as fuck, and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> Bro, it's more like she may have an emotional connection with that girl, too. That may be why she didn't want to invite you. I'm like, yo, you may not be physically cheating on me with a man, but you may be emotionally cheating on me. Still, exactly. Mm. And that's Word. another part of me would feel some type of way. What's worse between emotionally getting scarred 
like that. Like, no, you can you get know, the body back. You take a little soap and a little clothes in your eye, but you can't just take the mind back. Like, no, nah, no, nah, wait, wait, what? What? Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute, my nigga. I said you, you got to wash it out. And, body back? Yeah, like if what you if the old me? lady got a train ran on her? 16 niggas. I ain't say you should or you. I just said you could. You just take a little soap and a little close your eyes. Next time you have a second, you can't think about it. But if you, that's if you do decide to do that. But I'm just saying it's easier to take the body back than the mind. Or that's a tough emotionally proposition. And, and, and I say stay true to yourself, young ladies and gentlemen. I Nigga, say what? have self control, have uh, patience with yourself mostly and others second. I say. Know thyself and know thy interest. Because you don't want to jump at any aspiratic moment and cheat on your significant other and then cry about it in their face afterwards. Like, I'm sorry, it didn't mean nothing. It should have meant something while you was there sucking dick for 30 minutes. You feel me? Like, or while you was there giving bitch back shots for 30 minutes. Like, either or, it goes both ways. You should just respect yourself and respect others. Keep your hands to yourself. Yo, what's and your problem? I'm what's your respect. policy, bro? Cheat once, you out. <laughs> cheat tw- cheat twice. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Which side of me are you asking? Are you asking the respectful side, or are you asking the the side that says nigga, or which like, side? Like, if your girl cheat on you once, like you is you relaying, remaining? I right, play a so so. If a girl cheat on me once, what the fuck? Ain't no second time. Are you stupid? <laughs> 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 nigga, all right, all right. five women to one man in this world. I'm re- I'm ready for girl number two, three, four, five, and the other niggas four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like, what do you mean? All right, oh, all right. Bitch, <laughs> if they're one of you, there gotta be two of you. If it, if it was an attachment that that was broken, I'm gonna be mentally hurt. But all with due time, all the scars shall be uh, rehealed. Nah, no doubt, no doubt. What about you guys? What's your policy on cheating? Depends what my bank account looks like. Boy, this nigga simp. Oh my god! I don't even know how to take that. What? So she cheated on you, but if you have money, you like you're you're gonna accept it? it? Yeah. What the fuck? Like, he's gonna pay the nigga. Like yo, keep her busy. Uh-huh. Like get the wait, fuck wait, out so of here. Wait, you have man. no mo- wait. So if your money says zero, you're gonna keep cheat on you? I'm confused. Here. <laughs> <laughs> like which which way are you cheat? Are you wait? Oh, okay. Wait, oh, why? No, wait, is she bringing no. the money? Like, if she bringing in the money, you're like, yo, you can cheat on me. You can do what you want. I'll take care of the house. Kind of kind of thing. That would you say? If you have a girlfriend, she cheats on you, and you accept her, we could not be friends anymore, man. <laughs> well, hey, bro, she taking care of the bills. What you talking about here? Yo, yo she like, I don't give a fuck, nigga. This bitch could be a trillionaire, bro. I'm gonna be in the back of here, like. But you, but she's still sucking that nigga dick. But she's still yo. sucking that nigga dick. Yo, yo actually, you actually, you need to pick you up from his house. I could, I could pick yeah, you. Actually, I actually had yo, a that's gonna be racky. Yeah, I actually had a conversation similar to that, and I was like, I told my friend, I was like, yo, like, do you would you allow your woman to make a decision for you? And he was like, yeah, all the time, man. And I just looked at him like. Interesting. You can cheat on my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was, and he asked me, and I was like, uh, I don't know if you know, uh, you know my dad or ever met my dad, uh, but I'm very hard to change my mind. Um, so it's very unlikely that I would be listening to my girl and having her make decisions for me. It's most likely going to be the other way around, where if she's not on my, you know, program, she's not in my life. And uh, when he was like, he's like, oh, my God, that is so harsh, bro. Like, she needs to live her life, too. And I just looked at him like, what? (laughs) She needs to what? Live her life. But aren't y'all together? Like, what's that mean? Like, what you talking about, bro? Together with us. It's our life. What you talking about? (laughs) I was like, like apart from you with someone else, like what? Do you think? He's like, eh, no, you're taking it the wrong way now, man. And I'm like, no, nah, it sounds like I'm understanding what you just said. Like, did you just say you let her do whatever she wants, and you're okay with that? And he was like, no, nah, but you know, if we if we have a disagreement and stuff like that, she might get the uh, the upper hand in the argument. I was like, damn, bro. Nah, I used to be like that. Like, yeah, my girl could definitely like make her own decision, have her own. 
It's just her own nah, brain. But then, but then I did some pondering and had some life experiences where I was. Just nah, like, I started listening to Kevin Samuels, bro. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, if you don't sit your four point five ass down. <laughs> uh, now the one where he was like, dude, you're fat. You ain't gonna get no pussy. I was like. He's like, hey, dude, Damn, that was I'm funny because he was talking to, though, huh? he was talking to a store it, manager, bro. He was talking to a guy who got money. He was like, bro, I don't even care. You need to go to the gym. <laughs> like, you're fat. You can't talk to girls. You're shy. You think you're just going to hide behind your money? Like, that's a, like that. Okay. And but you can't even <laughs> talk to a girl. Like, you can't even talk to me right now. You can't even fight back in this conversation. You can't even say I'm wrong. Cause you know I'm right. I'm like, damn, bro, he's coming at his life. It's so crazy to see how you just like su- successful in one part of your life and just unformed in the other, and just like have no skill whatsoever. <sighs> it's like, how? How does that even happen? Like, how does that happen? How can? I'm like how? shutting off one part of your life by only going for the things you're good at, and like with this culture nowadays, and just like it just everyone gets a little trophy, everyone gets praised, even though they fail. Just, just keep continuing. And never have to develop any skills in anything because you're just successful off rip. Mm. And then when you face a reality in places where no one can, no one can save you but yourself, you come to the reality of I have nothing. And then the choice is either to accept that reality or just to continue with the facade. And Kevin Samuels just came. I was like, "Ain't no facade, boy. You fat and broke." Yeah, this guy. Yeah, this guy ain't lying. He ain't lying. He was he was all on everybody. I really like his old stuff. Can we talk about how how people think he's gay, and the people say that they got gay receipts on him? That's wild. I be thinking of that sometimes. Like, what if he's actually gay? Like, I never heard that. Wait, what? Like, people said that they got gay receipts on him. You never heard that he's gay. <laughs> Yo, Kevin said, okay, removed him. He said, he said, don't be spraying rumors on me. King, 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 he stole that man's internet. Yo, you got beat up? You good? <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> no. Watch him out. He just leave me watch him out. I closed out my page by accident. He said, stop lying on my name. Well, hold on. What, what, for real, though? Because I heard a lot of people say that, but I didn't hear anything about any, like, gay receipts. Like, what is that? Because I did hear him say a lot of times, like, if I'm gay, if I'm gay, you better have some proof. You better have some proof. It's like, nigga, having proof don't make you gay? <laughs> like, nigga, what? <laughs> Wait, huh? What, what the fuck <laughs> you mean, nigga? <laughs> you need proof to be gay? Since when? You could tell a nigga's no, gay. Nigga, if you that's what I'm nigga, sometimes the shit that he be doing is a little gay, nigga. That's what I'm like. Why what? What are you saying? And his maneuver is not, not not I get his, it. I get I get it. No, no, I get that. His sexual orientation. I get I get it. Like his some of his mannerisms are fruity. Yeah. Yeah. I get People that. Are highly but when, refined. Hey, I I I <laughs> is I it highly refined? profined? No. Nah, I'm not nah. saying it's wrong, Fred. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm not saying it's wrong. No, I'm curious though, because he did a whole he did a whole show he did a whole show about him denying called I'm gay. Being gay. Yeah, he, oh yeah, for he, real, you got yo send me that send me that. It was called I am gay, literally, and it starts him by saying, yeah, it's his show nah, title it's, like it's, I'm it's gay. rebuttal because he constantly gets the I'm gay reference, so it's rebuttal to it for the entire show. I was about to say wait, so he came out. He wants, Nah, he came out nah, to say, nah. if, you, if you got smoke coming to my face, and no one no one came to his face, basically. Yeah, he said, say it to his hours. face. Say, he said, if you think I'm gay, say it to my face, <laughs> one, show me proof. and two, yeah, or two, show me proof or evidence, which is what I'm saying. Like, showing evidence doesn't mean that you are or aren't gay. It just means it can be proven in the courts of, of human Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> And like that's why I'm like, hey, I may be good at hiding. I'm gay. So you may never know I'm gay. You know, that's like, what bro, I'm saying. What? That's what I'm saying. Like there's so many, there's so many hidden people that don't know what's going on. Yo, just like there's so many people do, people do coke and crack and never know they did coke. And he'd be like, I got a perfect ten all the time. Great personality. He'd be like always oh, sniffing coke in the bathroom, never even know. Now he'd be coming out. He'd be like, he'd be like this. All right, folks, if. I guess that those are the fruity parts. That's like gay. That's just fruity. That's you gotta fruity. clean your face. <laughs> you don't forget to wash the ass. All right, the ass. Yeah. <laughs> like I get it, my nigga. But <laughs> give, me hard, give me some hard man shit. No 
walk. No, no, no. Watch it. Get up in your face. Get up in your. But face. but he did say he did say that because he grew up with a single mom and a lot of single aunts and everybody. He didn't meet a he didn't meet a male figure until he said he was like eight, nine, or ten or something like that. So he said that he grew up around surrounded by females. So he had a whole bunch of female mannerism. He used to get joked on all the time. And I was like, damn, I can see that <laughs> big time. But hey, that's why I guess that's why he learned first words. Yeah, because he did, he was like, oh, y'all going to make fun of me? All right. Next one who says something to my face. Y'all, I got three different black belts. Jiu-Jitsu, Taekwondo. Um, <laughs> I'm a football. He said, don't make me come out my blazer. <laughs> Yo, Kevin Samuels is going to listen to this a couple years from now. And once he become a highly refined man, be like, that's how you really thought about me? <laughs> I'm going to be like, what? <laughs> Sir, please tell me about your history. Can you talk to me? What what you been, what, what your life experience has been telling you, man? Like, talk to me. You got something you want to tell me and nobody else? Like, I'm going to be like, yo, bro, I'm going to be standing from about over here in the corner, about 10 feet. Me like, yo, Justin, go ask him your question you want to ask him. Go go ask him. Be like, get the camera. He about to get at me. He about to get <laughs> he's about to, he's about to tap on his arm lines. He's about to tap on that arm line. Thirties gonna lose to a fucking declining sixty-year-old man. I mean, it depends on. It's gonna be it's gonna be a martial arts experience, and he's still in good shape. He's like fifty-six. He's still. I mean, it's only gonna be four years from now. I just want to give you. A heads he's up. fifty-six. I'm twenty-two. Imagine, let's say, my, give it fifteen years. My, I'm still in my bro, prime. This nigga declining. Listen, bro. Bro, you gonna get your head knocked out. <laughs> He'll be declined on the ground, bro. <laughs> My sensei is seventy six. He's still. Nah, don't tell him, Rafi. Don't tell him. I need a good clip. I need a good clip. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. I'm going to your dojo <laughs> tomorrow, yeah. nigga, and I'm gonna fight your sensei. Bro, she's a female. Oh, I don't hate girls, bro. Sorry, no, I don't hate girls. She. I don't want to fight no more. She's, she's, she's like my Saudi energy. Uh, yeah, he's like, I don't fight girls who fight better the than me. I put out so quick. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't fight girls that fight better than me. Hold on now. Don't call my bluff, chill. What? Yeah. What? Like, what? That's discrimination. Hey, I'll fight your second best, your second best person in the dojo. <laughs> Bro, the second best person is a man who's six foot four. Oh, he up, got nigga? like, yeah, I'll whoop his two, ass. What's up? Two ranks underneath that dude's forty. That's in martial arts prime. <laughs> you know, John <laughs> Claw, thirty-five to like fifty-five is like martial arts prime right there. That's what I'm saying, bro. I, I think he, he's still in good shape now. He, he, he's six four, like two. He's six four, like two eighty. Because like, like <laughs> you ever heard the story of David and Goliath? He's still in shame. Stop playing with me. Oh, oh, big, look at my rock. Oh, big time. I heard. Big I heard. Time. I just, I just know that one is trained more. <laughs> And so I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, give me a date. Give me a date. I gotta get a week. I gotta get a week. A couple months. Get ready. <laughs> I gotta get my Rocky Man. montage going. You gotta hit, hit the get a little road work in. Get a little. Yo, get, I'll put, yo, I got you. I got your preparation. I'll print a picture of them out. Put it on the punching bag. You know, I got. I'll get the music selection, bro. I don't even worry about it. I'll sing for you. <laughs> I keep, I'll keep the ground clean so you ain't got to slip. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah! Just make sure you wipe the blood on the floor. Man, but you know most of the money gonna be going to recording your ass gonna be on 4K though. So we can recoup all to me recoup the training camp. <laughs> and then while everybody thinks it's like he he's about to get his ass whooped, mind blown. What happens? Damn. Hey, hey, there's no good outcome because if you because if you win, Kevin Stevens is gonna sue you. <laughs> oh my lord. Everybody, he taking it straight to court. You know, he taking it straight to court. He 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 ain't, he ain't shy about the law. He just taking you straight Dude, to court. Hold, hold up, can we talk about, about that? Like, fact that I just learned yesterday that I was not knowledgeable of at all. Justin, learned what's up? What's up? What's up? Tesla did not originally create Tesla. Yeah, he he acquired from two two white men, and then built not acquired. What they had. This nigga sued them. So bad. I didn't, say how he, I didn't say how he acquired. I just said he acquired. <laughs> what happened? He didn't even make the designs, bro. Like, what the fuck? Wait, but I don't get it. What happened? What I miss? How, how, how Elon acquired Tesla. Oh, just like how Bill Gates did with Microsoft? Yep. Yeah. And just everybody, everybody assumed that they were the creators. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Wait, Bill Gates didn't create Micro- I, I didn't know that. He played a huge part though. It was just already started with the Roadster and he came in, took it over, and then they started building nah, he together. He was an investor, yes. 
So he 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 was big in Tesla. What it is now, it's just that he didn't originate it. He just came in and made it better. Not um and with with Tesla, it was different than Microsoft just because the he was trying to say like he was one of the originators, and the actual two originators were like, "No, you're not. You're only an investor." And then he was like, "No, nigga, I'm I'm one of the originators," and then that's why he sued them. But um, hmm. that's interesting. Was that recent? Yeah. No, Nikki. Would would it be recent, Rafi? What the fuck? You said he sued him. Was that a no? He didn't sue him recent before. Before he, this is all before he fully acquired Tesla, like Facebook. How Mark Zuckerberg did Facebook? Yeah. So, uh, so they had a looks like they had a lawsuit settlement in 2009 that allows all five of them to call themselves co-founders because Elon Musk came on as number four for when they were looking for funding and funded them and made one of them CEO, uh, Strawbell. Mm-hmm. And then the three people who originally started it along with Musk and Strawbell became um, the, the five co-founders through a settlement. So yeah, Elon Musk was not a founder, but then it was like, yo, I'm a founder. <laughs> and they <laughs> settled it over law and they continued off. <laughs> he said, nigga, I put nah, thousands in this bitch. I'm million, no, a million. He gave me millions. He gave me millions. Yeah, nah, at the time, yeah, put, you think he put millions at the time? No, nah, yeah, he put millions as an investor. He put in millions in two thousand nine. He, he put six point five million of the initial A series and uh, and five seven point five in investments in February. And became the chairman of Remember, board of directors. He created he PayPal. Chairman of board of directors through about like fourteen million almost. And you know, then appointed the CEO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know that? Bunch, uh, like fuck? three or four other people. Yeah, he coded PayPal. Yeah, he's he I sold to PayPal to found. That's how he that's how got he all this money. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what, no, but the, his, but his co-founder. I'm pretty sure it's because not just the money, but I'm pretty sure he took some sort of innovative take on it. Like pretty much how you do with me, Fred. Where like I give you a whole bunch of you know crap, and then you're like, oh, that's a great idea. Out of the two million things you said, I found one good thing. And he took that one good <laughs> yeah. thing that they that they created, and they were like, okay, this one good thing is going to make this company a lot of money. So because I was able to find that answer out. I'm a co-creator. I'm a co-founder. It's like, wait, I've been doing this for X amount of years. You're just a helper. It's like, helper? Now we're going to court. You disrespectful. Helper? Facts. Helper? Without me, there is no Tesla. <laughs> and he could say that. He could say that. Without me, there is no Tesla. If it wasn't for my $14 million, do you think these people would want electronic cars? Nope. They wouldn't care about electronic cars. Nobody would care at all whatsoever. That's crazy. That man came in and said, yo, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the board of directors chairman coming in straight off. <laughs> and it was like, Elon, nah, he was, nah, he was board of directors. Co- oh, they were just offering him that? No, from his investments. He, he, he had from his investments and then he became the board chairman. He's a smart man. And then yeah, he, he knew what the fuck he was doing uh-huh. when he started investing. <laughs> I mean, he, I mean, he, he maneuvered there's so many companies at that point. By the time he was in Tesla, he already had sold PayPal and he was getting into uh, solar it was almost City. 20 years ago. Like that was in 2004, 2009. It's crazy. Almost 20 years ago. 10 years. Damn. Yeah, no idea what was going on. <laughs> Nigga, no idea <laughs> is, is Tesla. an understatement. Uh, yeah. I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh cards and Pokemon cards and watching cartoons. <laughs> what? I was... A rugged little kid running around in the street, all dirty and shit. And I, was, I was still playing with my Beyblade, trying to figure out what oh, these, facts. Oh my! What these Yu-Gi-Oh cards even meant? I just knew other people saw it and was cool. I was like, oh, I want to be cool too. Yeah, this shiny one, it's worth something. Trade me. Give me seventeen of your cards for this one. It's like what? You're crazy. I'll give you two. It's like, nah, you you bugging. Walk away. They're like, okay, I'll give you fifteen. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'll give you 15 I was like yay I made a trade I had no idea what the heck I was doing and this guy was doing the same thing but with companies he literally sold 100% of everything in PayPal and then he divided it between Solar City, Tesla and another company I keep forgetting about uh, but he divided it into three companies and he was still borrowing money for his rent because he didn't have a house still did you say it's SpaceX if you didn't say SpaceX or any yeah, SpaceX, Tesla, and there was a third company, I forgot. But he 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 divided the payments into three, but namely those two specific ones, because he really, really didn't want to give up any of what he was doing. And I think it was pretty cool because when you think about it at the end of the day, he's changing everybody's life for the better, or at least one would hope. Oh, there's, there's a lot of anti anti muskers. Like I said, who knows? There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a negative story to, to every positive. So it's like a billionaire is going to space. We need to be building Earth better. 
Yeah, how do you feel about that? I don't know. If- I mean, it's their money. So I mean, I mean, I can't. I'm not. I'm not like the people who just like, yo, I can tell the billionaires how to spend their money. I mean, they can. They they have so much power and money, they can do what they want. So sure, it could be smarter to to help the people. But I mean, when has ever, anyone ever helped the people for free? Besides the few people who did and are now in history. And it's always people that have less that always demand more. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't that weird? I say the people in power tell the people to tell the the masses the truth. That's why I want to leave it at and uh, tell the people the truth. Because I'm just thinking like, yo, that's crazy. All of them have enough money to potentially feed the world, but you're just feeding them for a day. And then what? Now everybody's equal. Now everybody starves. It's a conundrum of where, where, where does it end? And then if you do end up being able to provide and give everybody universal same, like if there is a utopia, does that even exist in humanity's sinful, greedful no. nature? Just one just one nature will will kill off that utopia. And that is I think it's called glut, gluttony, gluttony. Gluttony, gluttony yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Just yeah, that, yeah, bro. That's Resources will run out very, very fast. Because if everybody is, if, if everybody has the potential to eat like Americans, oof, that's crazy. Oh my crazy. God, yeah, fam, that would be insane, bro. Because people don't be thinking about that. Other countries are skinny because they can't eat like Americans. Man, we be thinking we poor. We got people we think we poor. We got whole rice and beans for years. And then they poor. They got like um some dirt, some leaves, and some bread. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, bro? I'm pretty sure they got rice and beans too, cause no, nah, they don't. They be having less. They, they have just have less. rice, no other. beans, no beans. Beans is a luxury. Depend, I know depend that. Depends on, lo- depend on location, man. North Korea, they got nothing. Some of the African country, they ain't got nothing for real. For real, so it depends. Man, it's gonna be an interesting next couple, next couple of years, because if these space wars actually heat up, man, space you know boys, they're gonna don't be forget about Iraq. They're gonna be paying people and stuff like that. It, can you imagine getting paid like a couple hundred thousand dollars to go live on Mars? Like, hey, take one for the team, young blood. Bro, you ain't coming back, though. What you talking about? We need hundred thousand for it. We'll be giving that to your family. Be like, yo, I built generational wealth by Oh, I could have sworn that Mars. was a movie, though. Generational wealth in Mars. Like, you're the first founder of Mars. You're the first mayor. Bro, nothing for you to do besides try to... Bro, you, you're not going to be... It's not going to be that great. You're not going to be that great being one of the first... Not one. yet. Not for you to Think do, about yeah. it. Like pioneering, like take. at least 75 years, bro. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about like in your lifetime. I'm talking about you trying no, to go. It's not in your lifetime. Oh. No, you're a pioneer. Like you're getting paid hundreds of thousands to pioneer, live th- and procreate. Because think about it. If you're not dying, you're creating. And if you create many generations, like if, if everybody, like it's the anti-China one child policy, like you're minimum required to have 10 children in Mars. That way within 5, 10, 20, 30 years, even if they only sent 10 people, by 50 years, that population is going to be huge. The only issue, of course, is going to be they need more than just 10 or that incest is going to be uh, not pretty. Gonna be, they're going to have to send Alabamians. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you two, you two niggas better go over there. First thing, first wave. I'm good. I'd rather enjoy all my. Can I get Frederick Mosley, please? Frederick Mosley. Like, yeah, imagine that like you get to you get to choose second, third or fourth cousins. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, it, de- it depends. It depends on how bad the state of the world is. What? Did you just reply to what you just said? With it depends on how bad. Uh, you know, if y'all some super saying there's no, there's a war is going on. There's one pod left. Escaping? Are we escaping for? Are we escaping from Earth or something, fam? Like, what's going on here? You gotta pay hundreds of thousands of dollars. There's no escaping. The fuck, my cousin? Oh. Uh... Not you, because you're you're not gonna choose your cousins. Remember, you're gonna go normal. It's your generation. They're gonna have to deal with that, like your children and their children. Oh, okay. So uh, just like Noah's Ark, I'm not gonna be around to deal with the consequences. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah consequences exactly. if you have the knowledge, though. Like if you know, they're definitely like, yeah. This is this reminds me of. This is my daughter's daughter. Like, no. Nah, um... No, I'm saying I'm not gonna be there. I'm gonna be dead. When they have that problem. I'm gonna be like the. I'm gonna be like the third, fifth, sixth generation. I'm gonna be out. We that know, problem. and we know human genetics. If we if we uh repopulate with our own genetics too too close, we get we get negative effects. We cross pollinate. We gotta send enough pairs of us so we cross pollinate. That's all. We're we're just human plants. Oh, I like that. 
We are just human plants. What if we're human zetsus in Mars? You gotta fuck a uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, like a fish or what? some shit. Like, what if you have to do that? Populate with some some different creature or something just to survive. Yeah. What if on Mars women actually are more powerful than men? This nigga talking. That's not Mars. That's called Amazonians. All right. Nah, I'm being for real. Like, think about it. What if this? What if no? Nah, what if there's like some weird rule? Like, we don't know because we've never been there. What if there's some weird rule? We're over there. They're they're NBA. We're WNBA. <laughs> <laughs> I don't doubt it, bro. Because oh, the way God. it's played, I don't know. I was just saying, like, yeah, that's a possibility. Yeah, they do say Mars looks like um, it it was a, a civilized planet that was created with that was like destroyed by nuclear holocaust or some shit like that. I mean, that's that's one of the things that people say against females being in politics is that they're too emotional, that they'll easily want to start a war over nothing. But then when you look at every guy that's been president, they've all been starting wars over nothing. Uh, I'm not over nothing. The starting over war brings jobs. Exact. Thank you for Thank you. Or profit. Profit and death. They start wars over actual reasons to start wars over. It wouldn't be profitable for the country. Like oil? No, I'm talking about like, no, I'm talking about like, like there's, um, there's land there's uh there's um opium there's slavery and terrorists over in this country but there's no oil let's go send our troops over there to save those people that's what they would do instead of our our country be like yo um is there is there oil is there profit is there some type of some type of something do some, their some museums have the is mona there, lisa like, 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 rob? Is no, get, our country would be like, like <laughs> oh no <laughs> the slaves escaped first. let's help them get back to their country where they were just <laughs> enslaved <laughs> <laughs> for profit that's how i feel like they did with haiti right yeah oh, yeah God, they, yo. yeah yo they let every refugee in once haiti had their little problem them niggas was like hold up any haitian come here we deporting them we don't want no, <laughs> no more niggas please no more niggas like that, were, that weren't even from haiti they didn't even been in haiti yo literally bro they, they said so and they just had nowhere to go they just like on the ground after they got the plane just sleeping there bro that's crazy hey, yo i was like what the fuck Man, do you get sent back to a home country you never was actually in? Bro, I seen a video of a dude crossing Mexico, and then he seen that the people were getting deported back to Haiti. So this nigga went back into Mexico from U.S. Torrency back into Mexico, and he said, "Fuck it, I rather hey, I rather I rather play my cards in Mexico than in fucking Haiti." That's crazy. But he's Mexican. No, no man, he Asian. was Haitian. Oh, I mean, that's kind of smart because if he was already doing it for an extended period of time, like he's just trying yeah, to you gotta wait for the heat blow over because at least next, you could try again later and maybe later they won't be putting you on upon failure. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, he kind of just been saying <laughs> that. Like, like, but, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm not doing it now. I learned my lesson. Wait, because I think the flight stopped for deportation. Now, if he tries again, at least he won't be deported as quickly. But then, then boy, they were like, they're like, yo, we sent a bunch of these men out. We they getting they hot and steamed. We need to get them on this plane real quick. Same day, same day delivery with the same different. <laughs> Straight yeah, up, they weren't playing around. Man, I bet the I bet the Clinton Foundation going crazy right now. They're they're helping their best to their abilities in Haiti right now. Oh Lord, man, who, man, I mean, I'm sure they're on foundation organization. Who know what they doing? Or organs probably missing from with organ within that organization. Well, do you guys have any topics before we start getting into the organs, uh, 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 squid game, uh, black market? Uh... <laughs> I'm calling it now, but we have a nuclear holocaust in the countries that remain. Instead of an Olympics, we're doing a Hunger Games. Bam. Yeah, I don't doubt it. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's why all these dystopian novels are doing pretty good. And speaking of novels, I, I was even thinking about that being a possibility with any actual a futuristic kind of sport game because when you start to think about it it makes more sense like you're not competing just for the sake of it you're competing because is it a chance to live in a better world is it a chance to eat rice and beans and everything else that you've been eating was slodged and, and stuff like that is that why the people are like playing these death games because they live in a six person household that's a studio apartment like in New York. And they're like, hey, I want to live in a one bedroom apartment, not no six people in a studio. Let me go and play this gladiator game that the Argue Bros concepted the other day, taking all these crazy steroids in order to become the most amazing, efficient human being, cutting off all my life like Luffy does with Gear 2 in order to get five potential good years, maybe two potential good years with this body and if i fail oh i can't move just like uh Hordy jones when he took those steroid pills 
or whatever, and like right after, it's like you're old man for life. It's like what? Nobody told me about these special <laughs> effects. <laughs> Nobody told me about these side effects. Oh, I was so powerful. It's like, I can't get it up anymore. What is going on? I'm like, I can't have children to tell my children to take revenge. Then he sacrificed his future to try to live in the present. Don't take steroids, kids. And with that said, y'all got any upcoming uh, notifications y'all want to let us know? None, none serious outcome right now. I'll, I'll let you know if it happens. I'm dropping just- a blog post on halloween stay posted guys we're starting to look at guesting so if you know somebody that would be a great fit or if you're interested yourself in joining uh you can just hit us up other than that it's been another lengthy episode of argue bros i hope you liked it if you did subscribe like and like justin said if you actually like the WNBA, leave a w in the comment section please we actually look at this kind of stuff. big w Other than that, it's been a great episode. Nico Pengen, Argue Bros, we out. You've been listening to Argue Bros. We hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget to follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and leave us a review to let us know what you think. Keep listening and we'll catch up with you next week.